and in this video, we are going to learn how to create event name tags and label using Mail Merge in Word. Now, before you create name tags and labels, then make sure that you have first the attendee list. So these are the list of names and other relevant information that you want to use in order to create the name tags. And then secondly, it could be also helpful to have a logo of the event, for example. So if you are doing an event for Marvel, then you should have a logo of the Marvel and insert that logo into the name tag or label. All right, so let's get to it. First, let's open a blank document, then go to mail link. Now, many of you will be tempted to select the second option, which is labels, but please don't select that because if you select this option, you will need to manually type in the information for each single label and that is not what we want. All right, so here, let's uh, select the third option, which is start mail merge and then select label. Okay, I usually select the 3M21410, but then depending on your label vendors, you can select other label vendors of your choice as well. All right, so select OK and let's start the mail merge process. Now, first we will need to select the recipient. So we'll go to select recipient and select the second option, use an existing list. And here we can go to the file and select our existing list, which is attendee list. OK, click OK. And usually I will select the entire mail merge and then make all the um, table borders visible so that it's easier to rearrange. OK, now here you will need to insert the merge field. So which field from the Excel file that you want to insert? Now first I'm going to insert the logo. OK, and I'm going to make it center and move it up slightly. So I'm going to right click and select wrap text tight. And, and uh, the beauty of uh, selecting wrap text tight, tight is that you can easily rearrange the image to your liking. OK, now the mailing and then in such merge field, the first merge field is the name of the attendee. And then the second one will be the company name. Okay, now this push it down because it looks quite squishy. Okay, now I'm going to make the font size bigger. Okay, this will do. Now let's go back to mailing and preview results and see how it goes. Yeah, this, is, this looks good, but actually I'm going to make John Smith bold. Okay, now once you have created a sample label, and you are happy with that, the way that things behave, then go to label and then select this option, update labels. Okay, the logo is a bit small, so I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, and I'm going to rearrange it a bit. Okay, so this looks good. Now let's go back to mailing and update labels again. Okay, and you can see that whatever change I've made in the first label has been automatically copied down to the subsequent labels. So this looks good. I'm going to finish it and merge. And then I select the second option, which is edit individual documents. Okay. And done. Now you can easily print it out and insert it into a name tag and hand it out to those that are coming to your events. And it will be a great way for your event guests to network, to mingle, and to meet new people and interact with new people as well. All right, so I hope you found this video useful. That's it for now. Happy learning and see you in the next video.